Hey guys, what's up? This is episode 44 of the Daily BE. And for today's topic, I want to kind of walk you through one of my uh, one of my favorite sport coats, really, and kind of give you an idea of how I built it and why I made the decisions that I did. And it's a really cool one, you've seen it a lot. It's uh, kind of a, a real dark, almost purple, but not quite uh, single button uh, sport coat. That when I designed it, I was really kind of thinking, this is gonna be gonna be like my cocktail jacket where you know if I'm wearing it I have a martini in hand or an old-fashioned or something you know it's my going out kind of coat kind of casual again that one button and yet it's a peak lapel and so it's super bold and um, actually I should probably just show you because there's a lot of cool things on this coat but the, the intent here is to kind of you know give you an idea into you know what may be a good thought process when you're building a coat and to kind of help you make those decisions to find something that's going to be uh, really versatile overall, but really something that is kind of true to your own style and that you really feel good wearing. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the table and then I'll walk you through one of my uh, favorite sport coats. All right, guys, so this is a close up look at what I uh, kind of call my cocktail jacket. It is a, um, a really cool sport coat that you can see right away. We got the real strong peak lapels. And obviously the lining, we'll get to that in a second, but um, this is a one button coat, right? So what that means is that it's going to inherently be a little casual. Um, two button is kind of your standard, right? We don't see a lot of three buttons anymore. And certainly you don't see a lot of one buttons. I think honestly this is kind of more of a, um, in my opinion, kind of an Italian look. And it's something that you know, depending in your uh, your style circles, some people might think is inherently really casual, and therefore you shouldn't do something kind of formal, uh, traditionally formal like a peak lapel. But I thought that with the intent here to have kind of a really cool kind of upscale, um, you know, coat for going out, whether it's date night or whether it's just going out for a drink, I thought, what the hell, I'm going to do a one button and a peak lapel and kind of uh, see if I can build that look. And I think with the fabric, and again, it's kind of tough to see here in in video. Like um, you really got to see it in person to kind of see how how rich and uh, luxurious looking this this fabric really came out to be. But to kind of zoom in, it's almost like a uh, kind of reminiscent of like a hound's tooth. It's just a, a real interesting kind of textural look. It's got a little bit of purple, a little bit of black, and even a teeny bit of blue. Although I know it's not really coming through in the video here. You have to trust me. But very very cool fabric. And the cuff, of course, we have a working buttonholes. We got three buttons. That's kind of my thing. Uh, I don't like doing four because I think it's too uh, too standard. But it's totally up to you. And you'll see that um, you know I'm showing it off by having one open. But also this buttonhole here, the stitching is a contrast, uh, kind of a more of a purple, whereas the other ones are, are meant to blend in. So a little detail there. And then, do I have it matching up here? I guess I don't. Um, oh, no, I do. Yeah, so this is also a contrast uh, lapel buttonhole stitching. And uh, uh, besom pockets, that's the uh, the very very clean, sophisticated look. There is no pocket flap. And again, I was trying to create a very dressed up coat that's just very, uh, very Italian, very um, sophisticated, and so that the pockets followed suit. So that leaves the wild and crazy lining. This is, wow, on video it's looking really purple. But uh, this is a really fun lining and I kind of wanted to go with something that, um, you know, if I was in kind of a darkened speakeasy or kind of a, a dark and upscale bar that, you know, I wanted something very rich and luxurious looking. And I kind of uh, have an affinity for like the real dark purples. I think it's just a really cool classic look uh, that's always in style. And you can see it's even a, it's a paisley um, background, a paisley pattern here. So that kind of rounds everything out. And we have our, uh, with Bespoke Edge, we, we usually put the, uh, the fabric label in there. This is one of our, our finer cloths, a uh, Holland and Cherry. And you see on the other side, well, I guess before I go over there, uh, like a lot of uh, custom suiting, uh, you can get your name in it. Some guys like to put their, um, you know, like a motivational message or, or anything really. Uh, if you recall from an earlier episode, one of my summer sport coats, I, I named it Cool Breeze because I thought I was going to start naming my jackets after boats because jackets are cheaper than boats. 
But nevertheless, we have our typical um, you know pen pocket, another inside jacket pocket here, and then of course, so the way we do things, we have our uh, our label on this side with the other pocket. So overall, a pretty cool jacket. I don't mind saying so myself. But for you, you know what this might mean is as you build something, you have different things you can control, right? You can have the lapel is a big item, and then pockets are usually overlooked. But depending how casual or formal you want it to be, you have some choices. And then of course, working buttonholes or not. But the big picture, um, you know, I think a Maybe a key takeaway on this is that you know the lining is something not many people are going to see, and that kind of gives you a chance to have a little fun and do something a little bit different. And in this case, it was kind of getting that, that bold purple lining for myself. Uh, regardless, let me know what questions you have. There's a lot of different things you can do with custom suiting, uh, whether you shop with us or someone else. Uh, a lot of things kind of help to, to frame the story of uh, building a sport coat or a suit or a tuxedo. And we love questions, so sound off in the comments below. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe. we got more videos coming, as we always do. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.